understanding this question is key to chemistry. So on our periodic table, we have lots of different groups. We have the noble gases over here, we have the halogens, and we have the alkali metals. There is a fantastic demo using the alkali metals and putting them in water. And when we do this, they all react the same way. Some of them react more violently than others, but they all react the same way. And this is because they are in the same group. All of the noble gases going to have, behave the same way and all the halogens are going to behave the same way. And it is all about electrons. Now, a quick and easy way to tell how many electrons something has in the outer shell is by looking at the group. So here, the halogens in group 7 are going to have 7 electrons on the outer shell. And the things over here in group 1 are going to have 1 electron in outer shell. And it's the behaviour of these electrons that determine how things behave. So here we have the electronic structure of sodium and here we have the electronic structure of lithium. Both alkali metals, both in group 1. You can see they have this one electron in their outer shell. It's a little bit like riding a bike. Now, I'm sure all of you can ride a bike, but can all of you ride a unicycle? You riding a unicycle is very different to riding a bike. You need to behave differently on it because of the number of wheels. Again, riding a bike with two wheels is very differently. It behaves differently to a bike with one wheel. And lastly, my darling little baby is one of these at the moment. Riding a bike with three wheels, completely different to riding a bike with two wheels or riding a bike with one wheels. It's exactly the same as its electrons. The number of electrons on the outer shell will determine how things behave. The number of wheels on a bike will determine how it behaves. So here we have... Um, things with seven electrons on their outer shell and what they want is to get electrons from places so we need to have electrons whiz in here so that they now have eight electrons on their outer shell so things in group seven everything in group seven wants to gain electrons it wants to drag electrons in from other places it wants the same number of electrons so it's going to behave in the same way as everything else in that group here we have group one, and what things in group one want to do is to get rid, oops, to get rid of this electron. So things in group one are all going to behave the same way because they want to do the same thing. Doesn't matter how high up or how low down they are on the periodic table, they still want to get rid of this one electron here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Check out my website, bromoscreen.com, for any new videos, all the videos sorted by exam board, the blog, and any um, extra advice there is. Any comments, questions, topic requests, or um, corrections below.